Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Civil Registrar System. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. So the version of the PHP I'm using is 7.4 and the MySQL version is 5.6. And I'm using the VAMP server, or you can use the XAMPP server for running this project. Apache version is 2.0. And uh, this is a web application. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and some of the CSS and GS library also I have used like uh, jQuery and many more. So you can see there is a slider running on the home page. It's coming because of the JavaScript libraries, right? So let's start with the features and functionality. Go through that. What are the features and modules are available inside this project? So the project title is Civil Registrar System, and it's a major project which has two types of user rules. That is the user and the admin. Admin has their own features, user has their own features, right? So once you run this project and you will get this home page, you can see this is the home page and this is a pure static page. The home page is the static page. And then after that, there is a about page and this is also a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. And if you want to register on the website, then you can register from here. And after that, all of the documents which belongs to your email ID will be visible on your portal, right? So if you are registering, with the email ID, then all of the documents which belongs to your email ID will automatically be visible to you, right? This is a login. So from here you, you can log in. And there are two types of login here, admin and user. And this is a rule-based system. So according to the rule, the internal features and functionalities will be changed. This is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page and there is nothing dynamic on it. So in this, uh, I have used the Google map and due to the api it's uh, giving some error right so now i am now i am going to log in as an admin so the user id is an admin and the password is test so once i log inside the system you will get this home dashboard page you can see so we have four modules here the first birth certificate module that certificate module voter id module and drive, driving license module and the customer management right? so you can see all these modules here right <laughs> so let me go through one by one so this is the home page i already explained you which is this right the dashboard again and this is the birth certificate so all of the birth certificates which admin has generated will be displayed here you can see all of the details are available here you can search the records from here right if you want to search here you can search you can edit you can sort you can set the pagination this is a, this is a smart table and you can see the paginations are here and the <coughs> showing the total number of records are displaying here this is a smart table right and we have implemented this smart table in overall uh, report right so if you want to edit it just click on the edit and after that you can edit the records and you can submit it right so that's <coughs> right so you can submit it so it's saying that the data is missing submitted right the the second one is a that certificate so from here you can see the that certificate here all of the debt certificates are here right so you can uh, upload all of the details if you want to edit it then you can edit the details from here right the second one is a voter id management so the third one is a voter id management you can see all of the issued voter id will be uh, displayed here and if you want to edit and delete then you can it from here and you can search you can so as i told you earlier this is a smart data table and this all uh, is applicable on all of the reports part right the next one is a <coughs> driving license management so from here you can uh, uh, apply for the driving license and all you can see the here you can see the other number driving license it and everything will be displaying here right then last one is the customer management so from here customer can you can check all of the registered customer details right and even you can delete it and the last one is a uh, change password and from here you can update your password right now come on the menu part so here from here if you want to add a new birth certificate just click on the add you can enter all of the details here and after that you can add the birth certificate this is add voter id card so from here you can add the voter id card this is a driving license so from here you can uh, add the driving license form and this is add debt certificate so you can add the debt issue the debt certificate from here the same thing the reports are available <coughs> here so you can see the all reports are available here right okay now is the change password the last part is the logout so this is the session driven menu if you click on the logout then all of the session will be expired and you will not be 
able to see any of the administration menu here so let me show you log out you can see menu has changed but if i log in then menu has changed because these are the admin menu <coughs> but if i log in as a customer then the menu is different and even dashboard is different because the internal features are rendering according to the rule so customer rule is lower than the admin rule so the, that, that's why uh, customer is able to see the less features right customer can see only the my documents from here you can see this is the document so this <coughs> all uh, documents belong to the customer right and how it's fetching right according to this email id right customer can't edit anything here right so he will be able to see the details here only right so he, you can see the all date certificate <coughs> all birth certificates all voter IDs, all driver license this all details are here and it's because of the email id if the admin add the email id of customer in any of the form then those documents will be visible here right it's automatically right this is a change password from here and customer can change password in the logout if, if you click on the logout then session will be destroyed and this this both menu will not be visible you can see this may <coughs> both menus are not visible so these all features we have developed inside this project and as i told you the project title is civil registrar system and this project we have developed in html css and javascript with php and mysql well, right you can run this project on the jam server and this is a major project which has two types of roles admin and customer so if you need any enhancement any new features in this project just put it in the comments we will incorporate the changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos of the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much